So we wanted to put a little compilation together of <clears throat> how different teams are defending Buck sweep based on their run surface, okay, to the tight end wing side over here, okay, based on their coverage structure to the tight end wing side, based on their front. So these are just some random clips, coaches, on how different teams okay, are defending this. The first clip we're going to see, this is from Xavier in high school in Connecticut. Uh, defensive coordinator Andy Guion put this together for us. And Coach Guion talked about running a cover two look behind it. You can see it's a five down front. Coach Guion's an odd stack, traditionally defensive coach. And you have five man front, okay, two linebackers over here. All right, now this player is the halves player. Okay, now watch this outside linebacker. Coach Guion talked about that being the key to stopping this thing. What you're going to see is a down block guy, that wing, okay, at the point of attack right here. So he's blocking down. Coach Guion talks about a spill technique, which is what happens right here. Okay, first guard pulls. He's going to get inside shoulder, his outside shoulder on the guard's inside shoulder, and he's going to be able to spill that thing to the half safety or the half corner, whatever you're calling your defense. Next clip's the same concept coming out. Again, here's 21, the outside linebacker. is going to down block at the point of attack, and having that C-gap player there does help that. Okay, with that tight end wing, they're looking to get second level. Okay, 21's going to do the same thing now. This third level player has now cheated up to where he's at six yards. But again, excellent job by number 21. He's going to get the ball to bounce outside right away. And looks like 20 is going to want to be in a safety here. Pretty good job by that player coming downhill, making a tackle for a safety. Okay, tight end wing up top. Again, same principle. There's a down block. Here's the first pulling guard over here. 21, again, does a good job as the outside backer. Spilling the ball. Now look how he's coming from depth here. It looks like that safety is at about 10 yards or that halves player is at 10 yards. He's able to come downhill right here and make a play, you know, right at the line of scrimmage. So once you train the eyes of those third level players on this buck sweep and they see that down block, they can come from 10 yards and be successful. I think we have one more here from Xavier and this is out of a spread wing T set, which I know a lot of coaches are getting now. Same situation here. Looks like this player is now just taking that D gap. Now you have first and ten. Looks like these safeties are back a little further. This may be the outside linebacker and force player in this case. Okay, he's able to get washed outside by that wing. But watch the safety come from depth, running the alley, gets involved in the play. So here he is right here, coming from depth, running the alley. And he makes the play on it. So again, it's just making sure that, you know, having a halves player, you know, and coach, one of the coaches from Carmel High School, Indiana, in our last presentation talked about having a halves player being able to play that, that cover two concept there, and it does help you in the pass game because you got somebody there. This is Manalapan High School in New Jersey. They're more of a five down front by nature, and what's going to happen here is you're going to get buck sweep to your right. What they do with their players is that this defensive end, they have three down personnel, a five man front here. Okay, out of their three, four, Coach uh, Fumando is a defensive coordinator over there in New Jersey. And what he's doing here is he's boxing it with that defensive end. So now that player is taught to box it. He's taught to get low like he's doing here. He's taught to leverage it with the inside shoulder. Okay, try to squeeze the gap with the pulling guard. And they run it through with their safety. Or in this case, that corner. Whoever that player is, okay, at the third level, he's the one that's filling the alley. And, of course, you have linebackers. Okay, able to come downhill as well. I mean, I think it's just a great job by this player. The defensive end himself, okay, over here, he actually boxes it and he makes a play, which is rare. And if you have players that could do that, obviously you're going to be at an advantage. Okay, this is Pisgah High School in Alabama. What you're going to see here, it's, it's, it's out of a four down front. Okay, so now you have a nine technique up top of that tight end wing, and you have an outside linebacker, okay, right here. Four, four look. Again, this player's taught to spill it, that defensive end. Which ball should go outside. You have not only that player, you have another safety. Helping out if that does happen. Pisgah High School again.
Now this is a great job from a nine technique here. Nine technique up top this is a great way to play buck. So not only is he able to get his hands on that tight end, so the tight end possibly cannot work the down block to the second level. Okay, he's able to take on the wing, keep his feet moving, keep leverage in that D gap. And you know, coaches talk about that penetration. Once players get that penetration against Buck Sweep, those wing T coaches will tell you it's over. And the kid makes a heck of a, a play there. This is Sparta High School in New Jersey. They're more of a 4-2-5 look in nature. As you can see here, they're playing with a 7 technique, and they bring the strong safety up. Coach Kappelmeyer, defensive coordinator. Okay, so he's able to play that with a 7 technique there. Blocked down by the wing, but what that does, safety is able to run the out, fit outside that, and the mic is able to run the alley over here, number 4. He gets kicked out, but Ford does a good job playing that. Same situation. I mean, here, this, the strong safety just does a tremendous job here up on the swing. Okay? He's blocking down. I mean, that, that produces a short edge. When you got that strong safety there playing buck, that guard's going to try to kick him out. That's a short edge. He sees that right away. And if he's athletic enough like this player right here with a buck supposed to cut up inside, but, again, you have that play side linebacker coming over the top. Good play by that player. Again, same deal. Just look out, you know, look out how fast these linebackers are pursuing against Buck. Now you have it again. Here's the strong safety. Okay, he's he, he's triggering that wing. And Coach Cap talked to us, Cap Meyer talked to us about that. Once he's triggering that wing, he sees that down block. He is coming hard. He doesn't have to worry about a pass responsibility. I know we're not talking pass right now, but because you have that corner over there to help out, you're okay. And he actually just gets up the field there. He doesn't spill it, but he's there to disrupt the play. And looks like he made a tackle on it as well. Better shot of it. Again, talking all strong safety playing Buck right now. Oh, got a nine technique. He's going to draw the double team. Here comes a safety. Here comes a front side guard. He's able to keep his feet square. Okay, play with leverage. The ball cuts back inside of him. Okay, he's able to at least stay balanced enough to make a play on the ball carrier. Really nice job. So just giving you some ideas, coaches, on how to play buck sweet uh, out of different alignments and different fronts.